Son of a bitch. It all started long, many millennium ago. When we started a Saints Row playthrough. You see, we thought it would be a good idea. And it is yet to show whether or not it was. We then discovered binary floating in the background. We were curious about why there was binary floating in the background. But it was alright. Now, perhaps the plot will explain the binary. Probably not. Yeah, I doubt it. It's probably just make it look cool. It's Saints Row. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of people bitch about Saints Row 3 because it deviated from seriousness. It's it's Saints Row. Yeah. It's like... Saints Row 2 was like a bad GTA clone. I, I never played 1 or 2. But Saints um, Row 3, like, you needed that weird, silly to transition to go into to number... Apart. Yeah, to go into number 4, because they just went from 2 to 4. That yeah. is a huge jump. Yes, yes. And, and it does need to get, have its own thing, or it's just Grand Theft Auto, and then it's... Well, there's already one of those, so... What's yeah. really gonna make it important? But because it's so over-the-top ridiculous, it it sets it apart, and it's, it's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's just... It's fun. This is basically just summing up what's happened so far, how they went You from... see, I've discovered myself on this throne after many millennia of fighting the Galactic War! That's how it goes, right? Am I, am I close? No. It's just talking about the transition. Because I know there was an ending in Saints Row 3 that puts you on, the, on Mars. That, that was, that that was technically a movie, yeah. but, but still, Galactic War. Could, could, could be a thing. Yeah. Pretty sure. Might be wrong. What the hell do you just say? He has no voice. Uh, yeah, the voice. It's because spark. we haven't selected it yet. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Kinsey, you're my favorite. And then there's that dead guy. He's not dead. What? Spoiler. <laughs> what? Yeah, seriously, they found an explanation. The like, aliens kidnapped him prior. Uh, they kidnapped him in Saints Row Three. He was a zombie later in the game. No, he wasn't. Yeah, you can get him as a zombie. It's DLC. It doesn't count. You could have just been a lookalike zombie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, well, point is, I never really felt any connection to him because I had only played Saints Row Three, and he was gone after the tutorial. Yeah. So, I played Saints Row Two, but it didn't really matter. Yeah. Like I can see if you played the other two, the first two, you might be a little connected to him, but. As I have only played three, that's all I knew him from, so I was like, what, he's dead? That, that's what happened to him? I, I hardly even noticed. Yeah. They're good, uh, from what I've heard, they're working on another Sensor game, but it's going to be a reboot sort of thing. Like, they're just going back yeah. to like the so, beginning with a different gang. Okay. So Wait, so it's like a prequel? No, it's just a reboot. Like, a different gang now. Oh. Like, different characters, different storyline. It's oh. different what's gonna happen. I'm hoping... <laughs> I'm hoping they no, keep no, the silly. Butts. I'm really butts. hoping they keep the silly. Saints Row. It, it sticks it apart from everything else. In a world of non-silliness, it gives it that shimmer or glimmer of hope that is so needed in 2014. Now that it's 2014. I like how your character just says fucking goes and rambos him. <laughs> Because why not? They have to move. They then move. They would never make it past airport security. <laughs> they look way too Taliban. Oh, we're horrible people. Yeah. But the fact is, past airport security wearing that. See, he just rambles the shit out of them. Like a boss. They, they, see, this is just to iterate that your character is, in fact, a badass. They, yeah. they want to clarify this before you go in. That was subtle. Compared to Saints Row 3. <laughs> oh, Saints Row 3. Seriously, yeah, I played Saints, the previous game. <laughs> Saints Row 3 was pretty... explosion-y. This is even less subtle, considering you get a dubstep gun. <laughs> but hey, it starts off kind of subtle, everything considered. The MGS pair. Actually, come to think, Saints Row 3 is to a bank and shooting everyone. Yeah, this is yeah, subtle. Yeah, this is way less subtle. This is subtle. <laughs> it's weird, because this game does a better job of establishing characters than some other narrative games. <laughs> and it's Saints Row. I know. 
Like, I prefer a lot of the characters in this game to other characters in narrative games. It's pretty bad. Yeah. M16, key member, operation, okay, okay. Tried to kill us, okay, in the past, and just focus that was on the job. Stop <laughs> reading the subtitles. They're just saying it. Hello. Oh, are you playing? Yeah. So that was you doing that kick. <sighs> no, that's his jump. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's a jump, man. That's a jump. Oh my. That's that's silly. It's Sansa through four. Yep. Wait, he's just called an Arabic. Maybe. Shoot him in the head. Oh, head, no. head, headshot. Go for head. Go. Yeah. Good job. I'm proud of you. I have infinite ammo. It's good. Remember to reload periodically, though. Woo! Shoot those barrels. Okay, so that's. Make them blow. I. Div. Radioactive. I'm sorry. You know, I imagined dragons once. It was horrible. Because he was high. No? I'm sorry. I, I wasn't. He doesn't get high because he's a square pill. I kidding. get high on life. Same. We're fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> actually, the amount of nerds that actually get high nowadays. Yeah. Where are the nerds of nerds? We're the kings. Bitch. I beat this game on hard. It wasn't actually that difficult, but. You uh, know, I've just kind of started playing everything in hard mode. Bioshock Infinite was pretty fucking easy. On uh, normal. I played on normal. Like, I got. I'm freaking her from that that game for this golden eye. I got golden eye. Put it on hard mode, and it's hard. Yeah, that's an old game. Yeah, old games on normal are like no, but like it's out. still like it's as hard on hard on hard mode as like say you would expect from just a normal NES game hardness. Oh. Wow. So like no, like it's still hard as it's very hard, but it's like. It's like not. It's like the kind of hard that just used to be normal. Yeah. It's the not bullshit hard. No, yeah, it, it's definitely a good hard. Good, taken out of context, that could be quite um. God damn it, Jim. <laughs> Why'd now, you shoot her? What did she ever She walked in front of me and fuck Shawnee. No, I'm you know I hate it when I'm kidding. Happens. I like Shawnee. I hate it when people just She's walk. really you're, you're, you're aimed. You're about to shoot, and someone just walks in front of you. Like, what do they expect? Some people complained about the guns in this game. I never played this... I, I used the superpowers, like, sometimes in this game. I never really relied on them as my main method of fighting, because I always found guns more fun. Right, you're like a superhero or something in this, aren't you? Yeah. We'll be on Mike. We'll be Oscar Mike. No. We'll be Michael Myers. God damn it. In Terminator 2. He wasn't in that movie. But I love how it's suppressed was. when you're when there's no need for suppression. <laughs> but is there a need for not suppression? It's so basically because you haven't played the third one. Uh, the I, I, played the, I played the third one. Oh, so you know Cypress, the that uh, antagonist guy who yeah, yeah. Um, was What's in charge said? of that private army or whatever yeah. the fuck? Yeah, he's trying to nuke the U.S. now. But I killed him. No, he didn't die. Yeah, but he's a terrorist wait, now. Wait, no, wait, wait. No, I did the ending where you save what's ahead. Ah, uh, Shoney? Yeah. And the other chick? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but he is now the equivalent of Osama bin Laden. Don't, you hate, don't you hate it when that happens? Um, and he's trying to nuke the U.S. because fun. To be fair, we all knew this day was coming. We all knew that a white Osama bin Laden would rise. <laughs> We're Canadian, so we, we can tell these things. Yeah, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 breach sequence, bitch! I'm sorry, son. Your father was 367. No scoped. <laughs> now, the camp. Warfare games, they were good. Oh, okay. I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, because I, I have a Wii. Oh. Although I'm pretty sure those games did make it to Wii. Uh, no, the second one didn't, but really? the third one did. It's really weird. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah, they were just kind of like, ah, oh, fuck, port the second one. Then they decided to port the third one. I was like, why? <laughs> The the Wii is good if, you know, if just for the Nintendo games. Oh, L two is sprint. <laughs> Were you crouching this entire time? No, I was trying to sprint with L three. What does L three do? I don't know. Apparently nothing. I'm not still sprint. an I'm still That's an insolent sure. child. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God damn it! Kick your ass. Or no? Is he? 
Oh look, Great quick time events. Don't you just love Beat your face. Oh no, I got elbowed. Alright, so that wasn't really much. That match? actually wasn't so much a quick time effect as it was mash X. Oh no, I got stabbed. Now I can't snort meth off it. Oh, damn it. Because it's a Bowie knife. Yeah, I, I get it. Oh, and, and now, breaking and now, bad. <laughs> and, and now that poor knife can never be a well loved English rock star from the 80s. Oh, but I am leaving here. The amount of time he waits. Oh, look, he's, a, he's a joker now. He becomes a joker from this. No, he just hit the. He just hit the button on the nuke while he was dying. Wouldn't he have died while. before? You know what? This is saying to I'm yeah. not gonna play logic. There's no point in applying logic. No logic. Same as all you say. Rocket chance. So you go and kill yourself in the first ten minutes of gameplay, and the rest is a coma. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what a twist that would have been. You know, I don't think any movies have actually gone through with that, but. Many, many, many movies. Like Mass Effect? Oh, I haven't played Mass Effect. Ugh. Uh, thanks, Shondi. I haven't played a lot of things. So, were you in space? Ah, uh, kind No, we're not totally in space the yet. Space terrorists? No, we're just flying Stereotypical through Stereotypical space We're just terrorists? flying through the air right now on a missile. Oh, okay, that's fine. Thanks, Pierce. That's uh, some nice insight. It's so ridiculous. Wait, that hit you, though. Shh, I have clipping powers. Right, same. What are you holding on to? I don't know, but fuck it. <laughs> I'm the boss. You can do whatever you set your mind to. You just open the tuna can. <laughs> That's the best one. We just met, but, you know, you seem nice. And the rest is coming from this point on. The end! We won the game! Yeah, it just adds how Saints Row 4 ends. That was the Ryan ever spent. Now, then you just break through the White House roof. And that's how you become president, kids. <laughs> and he takes off his mask and it's Obama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god damn it. Obama. America! Presidency unlocked. <laughs> Wait, you actually are the president in yeah. this? Yeah! Oh my goodness! Chief of Staff, Benjamin King. Benjamin motherfucking King. <laughs> oh my goodness. Advisor unlocked. Vice President Keith David. You ready for this player? Yeah, you just gonna. Just not take this game seriously in the slightest because you know what? It doesn't take itself seriously. Now, character creation. Who oh boy. Are you ready for a time lapse? Yep. Yeah. Three, a two, and one. Alright, time lapse.